Welcome to Video Culinary. This recipe offers delicious Danish pastry rolls. Sift 700 grams of flour into a mixing bowl. Add 10 grams of salt, 80 grams of sugar, and 10 grams of instant dry yeast. Mixing on low speed, add two eggs, one at a time, 350 milliliters of room temperature milk, and 60 grams of soft butter. Mix on medium speed using the hook attachment for four minutes. Shape into a round. Cover and let rise until doubled in size, about two hours. Spread the dough into a rectangle, cover with plastic wrap or place in a bag and refrigerate overnight. Roll the dough into a rectangle one centimeter thick, keeping the edges and corners straight. Use a rolling pin to beat 500 grams of cold butter to make it pliable, shaping it into a rectangle that is half the size of the dough. Place the butter on half of the dough and fold the remaining dough over. Seal the edges using the rolling pin. Turn the dough 90 degrees and roll it into a rectangle 1 cm thick. Make a fourfold. Visually, divide the dough into four parts. Brush away any raw flour. Fold the two ends so that they meet in the middle. Then fold the dough, just like closing a book. Cover with plastic wrap or place in a plastic bag and refrigerate for 30 minutes. Turn the dough 90 degrees and roll it into a rectangle one centimeter thick. Make a threefold. Visually divide the dough into three parts. Brush away any raw flour. Fold one third of the dough over the center third, then fold the remaining third over the dough. Refrigerate for 30 minutes and repeat once more for a total of two threefolds. Cover the dough with plastic wrap or place in a plastic bag and refrigerate for 30 minutes before using. On our website videoculinary.com you will find a variety of different pastries, cakes and desserts. Make the pastry cream. Combine 300 milliliters of the milk with 60 grams of the sugar in a saucepan. Stir and bring to boil. Combine 3 eggs, 60 grams of sugar, 30 grams of starch and 150 milliliters of milk in a bowl. Mix well until the mixture is smooth. Stirring with a whisk, gradually add the hot milk into the egg mixture. Return the mixture to the saucepan. Stirring with a whisk, continue cooking until the pastry cream is thick. Remove from the heat, add 50 grams of butter and stir until melted. Transfer to a bowl. Cover with plastic wrap directly on the surface of the pastry cream to prevent the crust from forming. Cool completely. Make the nuts mixture filling. Toast and roughly chop 150 grams of pecans, walnuts or any other nuts you like. Mix with 100 grams of dried currants, cranberries or raisins. 
half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of salt. Remove the dough from refrigeration. Roll into a rectangle approximately 60 by 30 centimeters. Divide into three equal rectangles, 20 by 30 centimeter each. Spread one third of the pastry cream and sprinkle one third of the nuts filling over each rectangle. Starting from the long side, roll the dough into a roulade. Cut each roulade into 10 equal pieces. Transfer to a sheet pan lined with parchment paper, cover and let rise for an hour and a half. Brush with an egg yolk and bake at a 180 degrees Celsius oven until golden brown, 15 to 20 minutes. Make the apricot glaze. Mix together 70 grams of apricot jam and 30 milliliters of water. Brush with the apricot glaze while the pastry is still hot. Cool to room temperature and serve these delicious Danish pastry rolls as a coffee cake or as a breakfast pastry. Please visit our website videoculinary.com for a braided apple-filled Danish coffee cake, pastry cream Danish pockets, and other delicious, detailed recipes of baked goods. Thank you and good luck!